Gettable food and wine for a great cause. Don't miss the first annual SCV Wine Fest. Reserve your tickets today. For more information, visit www.scvwinefest.com. For those of you that are still attending the L.A. Wine Fest, we hope you've been enjoying it since that spot is very dated. Can we get that spot ripped off the air, please? The L.A. Wine Fest is now over. And uh, we want to thank Eric Hines for making that available for us to listen at this time. Appa- Welcome apparently back there here. might be a few people still le- actually leaving the festival. There might be some people still. <laughs> the, kind of just late scragglers, kind of just people taking full advantage of everything that the Wine Fest had to offer. It was a great event, by the way. Dr. Joel Fisher put this on in Santa Clarita, California. That's above... Los Angeles proper, and I have to say, the uh, the good Dr. Joel, we need to have him on as a follow-up. He's been asked back to do it again next year, and it was just an, an incredibly great event. Good uh, participation, lots of good food as well as uh, wine there. They had, and this is going to get you all upset, Paul, that you did not attend, Maria's Italian Kitchen had their truck there serving some great Italian oh, doing delicacies. The meat, the, doing the meatball sandwiches, I bet, that Matt and Alfano, the owner of Maria's Italian Kitchen, told I had, us about. I had one of the meatball sandwiches. Very good meatball sandwiches. Yes, so welcome back here to the show. Barbara By the Brady way, that's Michael with, Jordan's cousin, for those of you out there that do Michael Jordan, know. who hosts What's Cooking on Wine Friday edition, ladies and gentlemen, here on CRN, the master sommelier, not the basketball player. He will be there along with yours truly, Michael Horn Paul Stern at the Pinot Noir Summit, which you can plan for coming up on the 26th in San Francisco. And uh, Barbara Drady is here, who's the genius behind this whole thing. Tell us about how this all started and give us the background on it, Barbara. Um, it started out, I'm a passionate Pinot Noir person. Passion really goes with uh, Valentine's Day, and so does Pinot. So started tasting lots of Pinots, put together a, pa- a group, a panel, and um, unbeknownst to most people, um, we start tasting wines uh, back in October. We tasted 367 Pinots this year. So, so you had 367 entrants or uh, Pinots that were uh, brought in for this summit. 367 different bottles of Pinot Noir. Exactly. And our panels tasted through them. We tasted them twice. Mm-hmm. And we've narrowed, narrowed, narrowed it down. Can't talk this early in the morning. My God, I don't know how you and Paul do. Um, We don't, if you've ever heard the show. (laughs) Without your cold duck, right? Right. So um, on the 26th, Mm. we will have 64 of the top Pinots there, and they will be tasted blind. So if you've ever wanted to know what it's like to be a judge um, at a wine event, this is your opportunity. You will come in, you will taste them blind, you will rate them, and your votes count. You're going to pit your palette against the panel and let so, us know what how you so you've narrowed it. it down you've had uh, judges come and narrow down the 300 plus wines down to 67 and now at the pinot noir summit those that attend will select the winning pinot noirs based on what they find and, and are they gonna will everybody that attends will they be able to taste all 67 of the wines there, well there's only there'll be 64 mike and basically what happened to the other three <laughs> there was 367 down to 64 oh i got you okay so as you come in, you will be put on one team or another, the purple team or the white team, and you will taste critically through 32. You'll turn in your ballot, and then you can go and taste the other 32. And that's just the beginning of the day. Mm. Wow, what else and is going on? So then you'll what? Uh, I like that. Yeah. After you taste the 32, you get to taste the other team's 32 and then make your notes again if you want to and then see who wins, exactly. right? Exactly. And uh, we'll have workshops going on and then a grand awards tasting where the winning wines will, um, will get uh, recognized and get medals and awards. And you get to taste all of those wines plus other wines that the um, winery produces. There'll be a 75 wineries there late afternoon for the grand mm-hmm. awards tasting. Wow. So this is going to be a great. So, so it starts on. Is it starting on Friday? Is that when everything gets going? No, no. This is all. This is a one day event. Oh, it's it one starts, day. One day it starts at eleven thirty in the morning, at the Hilton San Francisco Financial District, ah. and goes till six forty five in the evening. It's distinctly different than any other event out there, and um, tickets 
start at $80 for Grand Awards tasting only and are $125 if you want to do the whole shebang. Mm -hmm. Wow. The whole shebang includes? The blind tasting, two workshops, and the Grand Awards. Wow. All right, now how do we get more information? What's the website? Where do we go? Go to affairsofthevine.com. Affairsofthevine.com. And we should also mention this being Valentine's Day. Pinot Noir should be your wine of choice, right? Because it pairs with everything that you're going to dinner with this evening? It does. Another thought. Bubbles always are great on Valentine's Day. And you could do a Blanc de Noir. So bubbles made from Pinot Noir. Or a big juicy steak with a cab, ladies and gentlemen. Whatever you like. But uh, there you have it. <laughs> Give us the website one more time, Barbara Drady, for the big Pinot Noir Summit coming up. It's affairsofthevine.com. More, you want to have more than one affair. Affairs with an S. Affairsofthevine.com. Check it, it out. And we'll have Barbara back to talk about it again in the upcoming week or so here be prior to the event because we are going to be promoting it and we're sponsoring it and we love it. It'll be on our website at crntalk.com. Have you heard? Proactive is new and better than ever. Stay tuned for...